where did all the available homes go? That's the question of the year so far in 2021. Well, March Madness is in full swing as buyers continue to duke it out for each home just moments after getting listed. Homes are often selling in just a matter of days with multiple offers for tens of thousands of dollars above the asking price. How much longer can this insanity go for? Should you buy a house now or should you wait? It looks like change is on the horizon, but is that a good thing? In today's video, I'm gonna explain what's happening right now and what you can expect to happen here in the near future. Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest real estate tips and trends, subscribe to my channel below and ring that little bell. If you have questions or comments at any time during this video, please leave a message below. If you're looking to buy, sell, or build a home in Utah, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to call or text. Okay, before we get started, I'd love to know where you're from and what the housing market is like where you live. Please take a quick moment and type a message below. I really wanna know. Also, because I love you and because I'm dedicated to giving you the most accurate information possible, I need to remind you that all good things must come to an end. And while some of the best economies in the country, like Utah, Montana, Nebraska, Idaho, Indiana, Arizona, and et cetera, could run for quite a few more years, in many parts of the country, this craziness might be over. And for some metros, it could be bad. You might wanna watch this video all the way to the end. Okay, so most of you know that the housing market is cyclical. The home prices will be steady for a while, increasing at a slow but healthy rate, and then for whatever reason, the real estate market will take off on a sudden upswing. Then the market will correct itself and home prices will fall only to stabilize again. This cycle has repeated itself for decades, but rarely in the history of real estate do we have moments or should I say events that completely change the housing market. In recent history, 2007, we had the Great Recession where home prices dropped by approximately 33% depending on where you live. And in 2020, we were hit by COVID-19, which will change the face of our nation as we begin what I call the Great Migration. By Great Migration, I mean that people are exiting certain markets or metros by the thousands and pouring into states with great job markets and economies where the government hasn't overstepped its bounds over the COVID-19. So why is the housing market so hot? The main catalyst is the coronavirus. The stay-at-home mandate made people wanna buy a bigger home with some yard space so they can entertain themselves and their families. Also because of COVID-19, a lot of people were forced to work from home. And for a lot of you, this has now become a permanent way of life. This has only intensified people's desire to buy a bigger and better house one with an office and a home gym. And it's giving you the freedom to live wherever you want. Slightly less impactful than the coronavirus, or who knows, maybe it's just as impactful, are these crazy low mortgage interest rates, which set more than a dozen record lows over the last several months. During this time, one of my clients locked in a mortgage rate of two and a half percent. How crazy is that? When rates drop, by one to one and a half percent, you suddenly gain 70 to more than $100,000 in buying power, meaning that you can purchase a much bigger or expensive home without increasing your monthly mortgage payment. And for the first time ever, many of you were able to qualify to buy a house. It was kind of like the perfect storm that very few people saw coming. And this is what caused the buying frenzy that we're experiencing today. So let's talk numbers real quick so you can see why home prices are skyrocketing. First and foremost, inventory was down nationwide by nearly 50% at the end of February. This is due to the fact that a lot of people decided not to sell, most likely because of the uncertainty of the market. Also, overcautious home builders scaled things back after 2007 and they weren't prepared for the sudden influx of buyers. Home sales dropped by nearly 18% from March to April, and then another 10% from April to May of 2020, only to bounce back quickly. 
Home sales were up by 21% in June of 2020, and by August, sales were increasing at the fastest rate since 2006. Currently, home values are increasing by double digits. The number of available homes for sale in the United States is continuing to drop. Realtor.com reported that the housing inventory fell by 42.6% in January and 49% in February compared to a year ago. So far this year, only 207,000 homes were listed for sale, which means we have about 500,000 fewer homes available than this time last year. This is a particularly bad thing when you consider how many more buyers have entered the market. It only makes sense that in a competitive market, like we're seeing today, that homes will sell a lot quicker. A year ago, homes sat on the market for an average of 70 days. Right now, nationwide, we're sitting at 59 days. And here in Utah, as in many other scorching markets, homes are selling in less than a month and often just days. San Jose, San Francisco, and Denver were the only three markets that saw newly listed homes decrease, and it wasn't by much. Listing prices in the nation's largest metros grew by an average of 11.5%, which is triple the normal growth rate, but only slightly higher than last year, which grew by an average of 10.9%. These numbers are insane, and all I can say is, it's a good time to be a homeowner. As a matter of fact, there were only three markets that saw home prices decrease year over year, and that was Miami, Denver, and Orlando. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. You need to pay particular attention to the specific market where you live and plan to buy or sell accordingly. The difference from market to market can be enormous, especially when you consider that home prices have increased year over year by 37.2% in Austin, 27.6% in Rochester, and 25% in Buffalo. Here in Utah, home prices have increased by more than 15% in the last 12 month period that ended December 2020. That was third in the US over that same time frame. Not too shabby. For those of you who want to buy a home but you haven't yet, you should know that mortgage rates have been going up and they're expected to continue increasing. This is bad news if you're planning to buy a home, especially in a hot market where home prices continue to increase as well. As a new home construction expert, I feel like I should remind you that in this market, it can take builders 10 months or longer to build your home from the time you write a contract. So the danger of building from scratch is that mortgage rates are expected to increase and who knows where rates will be several months from now. By the time your home is completed, it's highly likely that your mortgage payment will be higher than what was originally quoted by your bank or lender. And remember that you can't lock the rate until you're about 45 to 60 days from closing. In the end, if you no longer qualify to buy the home that you built, the home builder can keep your earnest money and your construction deposit. I'm not trying to scare you because the Fed has said multiple times that they plan to keep rates low, but we're kind of in the wild, wild west of real estate right now and who really knows what's gonna happen next. Now, before I continue, I would love to know your thoughts on what's gonna happen with the housing market in 2021 and 2022. Please take a moment to comment below. Also, will you please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel? I would appreciate it more than you know, and a thumbs up will help others see that this video is helpful. Thanks. So the big question is, have we finally hit the tip of the iceberg in the housing market? Truth is, no one knows for sure, but I can tell you this much, skyrocketing home prices have pushed tens of thousands of buyers out of the market. And if mortgage rates continue to increase, tens of thousands of more buyers will be knocked out of the market as well. When you consider mortgage forbearance, along with the other things I spoke about in my recent video, housing market crash predictions for 2021, I can confidently say that the market will start to swing the other way in several of the harder hit metros here in the near future for sure by the end of 2021. You know, it was almost exactly a year ago that the housing market, along with pretty much everything else, came to a standstill thanks to COVID-19. During that time, very few people were looking to buy, sell, or build a home. In some states, you were forced to stay at home. During the chaos of this moment, on April 9th, 2020, 
I felt inspired to produce a video called, Should You Buy a Home During the Coronavirus Pandemic? Where I implored you to buy a house now. If you'd purchased a home at that time, you would have had little to no competition and you would have gotten into a home before the market really started to run, earning tens of thousands of dollars in equity. A year later, there's still a lot of confusion. I know that a lot of you are wondering, is it still a good time to buy a home? I would say that because mortgage rates are still amazing and because homeowners on average are 40 times wealthier than renters, that it's probably still a great time to buy a house even if home values slump a little. Once again, if you're in a hot market where home prices are skyrocketing, then yes, you definitely wanna get in a house because home prices will just continue to go up. For those of you who are thinking about selling your home, I would say absolutely, do it right now. I went in depth on this exact subject in a video I just released. If you're thinking about selling, you wanna watch, is it a good time to sell your house? I'll put a link to this and my other recommended videos in the description below. Yes, the market will begin to turn in some places, but in other metros, the housing market will continue to run through 2021 and into 2022 maybe even 2023. Though, once again, at this time, I'm urging caution. For some of you, in certain locations, you're gonna to wanna to seriously research your market before making a move. Here's a look at some things that could swing the market the other way or possibly even bring the housing market to its knees in certain metros. Home prices have been running at an unsustainable rate for several months now, and home prices were already increasing at a more than healthy rate before the bat eating virus engulfed this planet. At some point, the market will correct itself and home prices in many parts of the country will begin to fall. If you add the two plus million people that are currently in mortgage forbearance, it could overwhelm many cities and states across this country as forbearance turns into foreclosure. If you're currently in mortgage forbearance, you should strongly consider listing your home before hundreds of thousands of desperate people list their houses. And if you don't already know this, a lot of the forbearance is coming due this summer. A sudden uptick in homes listed for sale in your town could kill your home value and make it nearly impossible to sell your home. But I'm most concerned about increasing mortgage rates. If rates jump, it could spell disaster for many parts of the country. If you've watched my other videos, this will sound familiar, but as a nation, we are seeing a huge migration from large cities to locations that give people a better lifestyle. Because of this, some markets will start to swing in the very near future, while other markets will continue to expand. If things aren't great where you live, and it looks like things might be getting worse, maybe it's time to consider a move. Who knows, it could be exactly what you need. As always, for those of you who are looking to buy, sell, or build a home, here's a quick list of other videos that are sure to help you. How to buy your first home. Best projects for selling your house. The ultimate guide for moving to Utah. Should you build or buy existing? What you should know before you buy a home. How to buy a house from a home builder. If you're moving to Utah or you already live here and you're looking to buy, sell, or build a home, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to contact me directly. If there's something in this video that stood out to you as being helpful, or if you have questions, please comment below. Sincerely, I wanna hear from you. If you know someone who's thinking about buying a home or moving to Utah, please share this video with them. And please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty, the real estate guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.